What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. Today we got a video that I should have made a long time ago. Um, it's about anti-recoil. Uh, we got a little controller cam uh, in this video later on. Uh, but first want to give this video a little bit of an intro. Um, this video is for people who think I use Cronus Max or any anti-recoil script or whatever. Um, but this video is also for people who just want to know why it looks like I barely have any recoil and... Uh, want to know how that works and why it looks like it uh, how I learned it um, So yeah uh, What I'm gonna do later on is I'm gonna go into practice range uh, Literally show you with a hand cam what my Rico control looks like um, Explaining why it looks so uh, like I don't have Rico because it's 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 a uh, it's a lot of experience uh, What you gotta know is that you gotta put time into this after this video You won't like be a laser beam right away with any gun, but it will definitely help you get to the right path of controlling recoil um but it's also important that um like i played this game already over 100 days i'm pretty sure so putting in time is really um important to um to get good at this game overall and controlling recoil um and yeah so let's get right into it we're going to the practice range and um i'm going to show you guys um how it works Alright guys, um, now we're gonna get into the actual footage part. Um, there's gonna be... I'm gonna explain two things here before we actually get into it. And then I'm literally just gonna... Uh, show you guys the recoil control... Um, that I have at this point. Um, so first what you need to know is... I got a controller cam going by the way. Um, so you can see my thumb, you can see the movement very well. Hopefully. Um, and the second thing you need to know is recoil values. On PC and console, recoil values are the exact same. Um, however, there's something different on console that you don't have on PC, and that's aim assist. Um, but since um, update 5.2, recoil values are the exact same um, on both platforms. Um, but on console, you have this thing called aim assist. Uh, you have zoom snap aim assist and soldier aim assist. Um, zoom snap aim assist literally helps you snap on targets if you aim near a target and slow down aim assist helps you um, be more precise once you're on a target. It literally slows down your zoom sensitivity um, if you're near a target um, that you're scoping in. I don't think this helps on hip firing, I'm actually not sure. I think it actually does help when, uh, when you're in hip fire but it's not as strong as when you're ADSing. Um, why you need to notice is if you have this on 100% like I do, um, this actually helps control in the recoil. It helps you stay on target way more than if you have this on zero. Um, however, this can also be that sticky that if you have multiple targets in front of you, that it's hard to switch between targets and to have full control over your aim. Um, so it helps with anti-recoil, um, but it doesn't help with actually um, switching between targets fast if you're not used to it. Um, now we got another thing and that's ADS field of view. A lot of people where uh, you would say like why does he have a lot, where, why doesn't it look like he has any recoil. They will have this setting turned on. ADS field of view, you have it in pretty much every battlefield that has the field of view option. In every game I'm pretty sure. Um, you can turn this off or on. A lot of people where it looks like they don't have um, any recoil, they have this one on. Um, if you have it off, um, it means you're gonna have your you're gonna scope in pretty much way more. I'm gonna show this a little bit. Right now it's off. All right, so hold up. Okay, so now we got the entire smiley covered in the sights, right? Now I'm gonna turn it on. You'll see that I will keep the field of view that I have right now pretty much while being ADS. You see that? My field of view does barely change a little bit. My field of view pretty much stays the same. I can still look around me, see what's happening while being ADS. Um, what this means, if you turn this off, you will turn, um, you will zoom in way more, but there's also less vision around you. I can show you that again. You see, I can see way less around me right now. Um, what this means is you can scope in further. So it's probably easier to be accurate up uh, range. But what this also means is that your visual recoil will be a lot worse. Um, 
if you have it on, visual recoil will look less, um, but it's also harder to see enemies from longer range. So it's it has its pros and its cons, uh, but often it looks like players that use the setting um, have less recoil, but it's mainly just visual uh, recoil. And yeah, it's it's um, whatever you prefer. I've seen people use it on, I've uh, seen people use it uh, off. Um, but I mostly use it on when I'm using um, automatic guns. Um, all right, now we're going into the actual vehicle control part. Um, we're gonna we're gonna just stay here. We're gonna shoot at this smiley. Uh, I'm still doing this in one take. I'm not gonna cut here. Um, I'm gonna first shoot with ADS on and um, with actually controlling the recoil. I'll do the same turning it off and then I'll show you guys what the recoil looks like if I don't control it so I'll literally keep my thumb off the stick with this stick I control the recoil all right so um, yeah here we go we're gonna hold up let me let me use this line all right there we go let's do one more mag I'm gonna try and shoot it into the right eye right now let's do the left eye Alright, you see it has a little bit of um, horizontal recoil, vertical recoil is way easier to control. Often random recoil causes, um, is caused by horizontal recoil, which is quite hard to control. Alright, now I'm going to do it with off. You'll see I zoom in way more, and the recoil might already look a little bit worse. It's still, it's still fairly controllable though. Alright, now what's going to happen is if I turn it, um, if I'm going to do the exact same but without controlling it, we'll turn it, we'll start with off. So I'm going to shoot, literally like this. I need some ammo. Retake. Alright. See, it goes up really high. That's, that's all the recoil you got to control with just your thumb. Now if I turn it off. This is by default, it's turned off, so this is probably the setting you're using, if, especially if you're on console. Um, you see, the recoil looks a lot worse right now. Now I'm going to try and control it again. Let's try a different target. It's a little bit longer range. We'll try to hit the. I'm gonna try to hit that tower right there. You see, especially at the start, it's kind of hard to control it, and then the longer you start spraying, the easier it gets to control the recoil. Let's do it with off. Alright, so um, there you go pretty much. Um, so what my tips are if you're struggling to control the recoil, try the ADS field of view thingy on. Also what's important to know is how higher your field of view is, how more of an effect this setting will have. If your field of view is like, I would say 70 or lower than that, this will not affect it too much. You can see that right here. I'll keep my field of view. If I turn it off, it will scope in just just a little more. See, you see the difference? It's not too bad. Um, so you also won't see the recoil difference too badly. Um, so if you, I would say if you go like above 70, you will definitely notice this. Um, also, if if it, the higher your field of view is, plus the ADS field of view on, the less the recoil will actually looks. You can try that right now. You see, right now it like looks like a complete laser beam. All, all these things are just important to know um, for controlling your recoil. So if you want to get better at controlling recoil, try this setting. This is an important one. And um, get, get, get to know, this is going to sound very cringy, but get to know the weapon a little bit. Um, play with one weapon for longer periods of time. Every weapon has like a different recoil pattern. I, I can go to the Type 2A right now. If that's in this list here, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to find that right now. Um, let's do the grease gun. Grease gun actually has a lot of recoil. 
because the degrees gun is ha it, it has a different rate of fire it's definitely controlling the recoil but um I, i've played with all guns a lot so eventually you get to know how the gun actually works all right so that's gonna be it for this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section uh, there's probably still gonna be people who think it's fake or uh, i don't know they, they'll find a reason to why it's not legit but um hopefully for the people who want to learn something you actually learn something and uh, yeah if you got any questions just let me know in the comments also you can join the discord uh, link is in the description you can ask over there if you want to and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video bye